Get ready for a love story like no other. In GT6, Jason and Lucia, our main protagonists, share a bond that goes beyond crime partners. They are deeply connected, maybe even living together. Unlike any other GT game, I expect 100 plus hours of game delving into their personal lives. Rockstar Games is set to redefine gaming relationships, offering a level of connection and companionship never seen before. Brace yourselves for a love saga that transcends the virtual world. Subscribe if you want it to be the sweetest love story of all. Thank you and let's go! And we're starting off with Rockstar Games will release a new DLC on March 7th with April, May and June being free. No need to tell you anything, but I've already told you everything. It's coming. Next up, another error in the GT6 trailer that not many noticed. The car side mirror doesn't have a reflection. This proves that the game is being rushed and it doesn't even have basic ray tracing in it. Next up, GT6, I mean GT5 was around 100 gigabytes. How big do you think the GT6 will be? And here's the installation size for Granite out of 5. As we could see, uh, for PC it was 72 gigabytes to over 94, and PS4 around 100 gigabytes, while the Xbox One was 95 gigabytes as well. So 100 gigabytes, 95 gigabytes, and around 72 to over 94. All I'm, uh, all I'm saying, that's a lot of, but I feel like GT6 might be twice. Or even uh, triple times higher than, I mean, bigger than the GTA 5 was. Not sure if anyone else talked about this yet, but in this scene of the trailer, you can see the car's interior with blue LED lights. Wonder if that a customizable feature or if that's one of the new and improved car interior designs. Else, what do we have here? What does the $20 bill say? I saw it say the United States of America, but it definitely does not. I'm not sure if this could be something, but someone needs to decode it. I swear I can see a gun. The United States of Paranoia. Yeah, after like 15 minutes of examining, I could make out P and uh, Oya, oh yeah, and but the stuff in the middle is it's just too blurry. I think you're right. Um, well, it seems to be special reference to the wild ass speculations about GT6 before the trailer was released. When people were looking for the signs in another GT Online screenshot and post on Newswire, I don't see any other explanations seriously. Next up, we go for. We never had any protagonists be this close before in a GTA game. What are your thoughts on this? So I call a recall any other game and recently and certainly not a GTA game where the two main protagonists were close on such a deeper level and probably even living together. The interactions are going to be much richer this time around whereas in GTA 5 we could only hang out with other protagonists for short duration. We couldn't even switch controls to other protagonists during hangouts. So what kind of detailed interactions Directions, do you think Rockstar will add for Jason and Lucia while they share the same roof maybe? Previously none of the protagonists were ever really that close or personal with each other, even as friends, as they always felt more like crime partners or acquaintances. So we could briefly have the other protagonist act as our companion during the free roam and if we were hanging out with them but even if they then they never really seemed like actual companions and would leave after completing a selected activity together. So we couldn't even switch controls during the hangout. I really hope we have less restricted player switching in GTA 6. Any brief bond be with and the three protagonists only shine during the missions and was very absent outside the missions. So apart from that, NPC interactions in general were really bland with no actual dialogue options in GTA 5, as this mechanic was somewhat improved in Red Dead Redemption 2, but we still couldn't select which dialogues to say and protagonists could just say a random line, as the only thing we could choose was whether the dialogue would be positive or negative, so that was still an okay mechanic. However, I want to be able to have less random and more proper conversation uh, the protagonists and even with other NPCs in general. We should be able to comment on various stuff including what the protagonist is doing at the given moment, as the received response should open up further selective dialogue options for us to continue the chart forward. There should be a seems like dialogue system or something that allows us to choose from a number of friendly and friendly and even romantic dialogues that would honestly be so cool. What are your opinions and suggestions in this regard? I just want to know what everyone thinks will happen, how the relationship system be carried 
out our two playable characters and what sort of interactions and conversations should there be. How unhinged or open do you think the overall interaction and companion system be for both protagonists together as well as for the NPCs? Do you think their relationship will start from them being friends to lovers gradually or will they be a couple from the start? I would love to see some discussions on this particular topic as a real strong and deep relation between protagonists is something unique to GT6 as of now. That's something I actually haven't thought of until now. To be honest, I just hope they will be together in the game world more outside of just missions. I expect their house will function like Cam did in Red Dead Redemption 2. Whoever you are not playing as, assuming you are not both out and about, could be at home watching TV or washing the dishes and you can have a little back and forth with them. Harder to pull off with just two characters unless they have a comic relief roommate or something, but they did so well with making you feel like a part of the gang in Red Redemption 2, and I'm hopeful we'll see some cool stuff on this front. It's basically guaranteed that there are pages upon pages of dialogues for just them seeing each other at home or cruising in car outside of the missions. Next up, for we go for it we'll be able to actually sell stolen cards. So one thing that I hate about GTA is that when you steal a card only to get around where is no way to take it to a fence and sell it, which is the main reason granted out to a cruise, with the rumor that stealing cards will be harder and that you also can hold things like lockpick, it would be a cool mechanic in the game to actually be able to do it for money and be more realistic. Also I assume run of the mill cars won't even be valuable enough for the trouble but very expensive cars could give it decent pay and have extra security features to make stealing it more challenging. Let me know what you guys think about it. To be honest, most IRL granted auto that happens is about joyriding or obtaining a getaway car for a separate crime. VINs and other security measures have made it really hard to traffic stolen vehicles for decades now. Even the mob usually did it with chop shops instead of just straight up reselling stolen vehicles. I want a fence too though. Correct, stolen cars get smuggled overseas or stripped for parts. Too risky to keep around and get caught up with the variety of GPS traffic tracking devices they have nowadays. The next topic. Test 2 clarifies about the recent Jason Schre uh, Schreier article, 5 day in person was already in effect 2-3 months ago, but now officially implemented, could be a sign of a crunch. Yeah, this isn't painting a good picture of the rockstar that was all about the employees a few years ago, and the management has been strict on this matter over the last year, which is why some devs last year, uh, le left last year who raised some good arguments and presented objective data against those productivity reasons. So bad management has been strict on the following ahead with the regardless of those deaths left. It was already in effect informally two or three months ago, but becoming corporate wide this April, which follows upon their last year policy that was increasing the office days over time, eventually reaching five days in office with this year. Thus, here we are. That's all of the information we have for today's video, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more daily content. Tomorrow might be a really interesting video about the storyline and how it will start off, so don't forget to do all these steps. See you in the next one, and peace.